Good morning, welcome back. My name is Benji. Today we're gonna to be doing some surf fishing and we're gonna do a little bit of a surf fishing challenge. We're gonna go for some halibut and we're gonna to try to catch a corbina. So I'm starting off here targeting halibut and we're gonna do that throwing the Lucky Craft. And uh, I've taken a little break from the Lucky Craft for the past month and a half, two months. So I'm excited to get back to chucking this thing and uh, hopefully the halibut will wanna play. I'll tell you more along the way. So we'll spend maybe a couple of hours targeting halibut. Hopefully we'll find the right kind. And then after that, we're gonna change beaches, change locations, and uh, see if we can't find some Corbina. So today is the Corbina halibut challenge. Hopefully we'll catch both. I'm happy with catching one of the two. We're gonna give it our best. I'm gonna talk you through some of the things that I'm looking for and some of the things that I'm doing. Hopefully we can make this video. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Tie lines. Well, good morning, guys. We're gonna be starting off chasing the halibut. We're gonna start that by throwing with the Daiwa Fuego 2500, a 30 pound braid with a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader and the Phoenix Trifecta light, 903 medium light. And uh, we're gonna start off by throwing my favorite Lucky Craft, the Super Glow MS MKB. So it's got the brown top, the magic scales, um, got some flash and the pink bottom. So we're gonna start, we're gonna target the structure and uh, I haven't fished this beach in quite some time. And so hopefully fish will be wanting to play. Hopefully I can get them to bite. We'll see. All right, let's see if anything wants to play. Oh, first lucky craft and first toss of the lucky craft in such a long time. Let's hope that we don't lose this one. This is my last Super Glow MS MKB. So it doesn't look to be too much salad, but the salad seems to be an issue here. I'm coming back with clumps of stuff every time, which is not good news when you're throwing the jerk bait. It's one of the few kryptonites when you're throwing the Lucky Craft. <laughs> It's a little drop off right in front of me, so and it runs north and south for a decent amount of time. So we're gonna try working this front structure here. Oh, is that a fish? Fish on. It's a small one. Oh man, he's off. I think there's some activity here, guys. I'm 90% sure I had a bite earlier and 95%, 99% sure that was a fish right there too. Um, just getting, didn't get either of them to stick. So just gotta keep working this water and see if we can figure it out here. Nice roll here in between sets. Good time to make a cast. Gonna try to cover that water thoroughly. Oh, there's a fish. Oh my gosh, there he is. Oh man, I gotta keep the line tight. He's swimming towards me, I think. But yeah, we got one. Oh, and he's running. I hope it's not a ray, I feel shakes. Um, if I get this guy in, it's gonna be a decent fish. There's some weight on him. Uh, made a nice strong run. He's moving in now. Oh boy, this is not a ray. Oh my gosh. Come on, baby. It's been too long. I think it's gonna be a good sized fish. My guess is a halibut and he's heavy. Uh, I don't know what this is, but it's a decent sized fish. It doesn't look like a halibut. It might be a Corbina. It's a Corvina or a Corvina. 
a big croaker. Wow. It's a big elephant croaker. Holy cow. Yeah, it's a chunk croaker. And he's fighting to the very end. My goodness. He's a toad. It's almost a 19 inch croaker with the mouth fully closed on the zero. Uh, about 18 and a half solid. All right, guys. Uh, almost a 20 inch, it's a, or almost a 19 inch yellowfin croaker caught with the Lucky Craft Flash Minnow 110. This is the biggest yellowfin croaker I've ever caught uh, by far. Man, what an amazing fight. I am got him on the slow roll uh, with the Lucky Craft. And uh, super rewarding, guys, to uh, get that bite and get a quality fish like this. Man, this guy's so fat. Um, what an amazing, amazing opportunity to catch fish. Let's get this guy back on the water and try to catch some more. All right, guys, this is the lure. The Super Glow MS MKB Lucky Craft Flash Middle 110. LC, baby. Love that jerkbait bite. My favorite way to catch a fish. And uh, what a gift. All right, just slid over a little bit. You see some white water right here. And there's some nervous water right there. Seems like the water's flowing into this hole here. So I'm casting from the outer into it and kind of pulling it at the edge of the hole and seeing if anything's there. Oh, there's a fish. Oh my gosh. I think it's another croaker and it's another good size one, man. Um, he hit that thing hard. That was a jerk bait bite right there, guys. Uh, I'll hope, let's try to keep him buttoned here. I don't think I have him hooked very well. Uh, he's right here right now. Uh, yeah, it's a Corbina. It's a small Corbina. Croaker's here. And wow, it's a small little Corbina. Holy cow. Look at that. Hammered the jerk bait. Small little bean, less than 15 inches, fit the jerk bait. We're gonna try to keep going fish, man. There seems to be uh, fish eating right now. Um, but super cool, man. Corbina, wow. All right, guys, new spot. It's really a good day to catch, catch the Lucky Craft, man. There's a lot of time between sets. So um, really, Give me a good chance to swim this thing the way I like to swim it. Again, uh, just hitting the edges of structure. Trying to see if anything's hanging out in the edges of it. Oh, fish on, guys. Let's go. I'm thinking it's a croaker. Shaking his head like crazy. Not as big as the last one, but he's decent. It's a Corbina again. No, it's a small croaker. So much fun, these guys. So much fun. This is like baby yellowfin croaker. Oh, I got a perfect little hook set on this one. All right, guys, lucky craft. All day, guys, all day. Uh, third fish today, second yellowfin croaker um, on the jerk bait. So, the super fun fight. This one's a lot smaller than my last one, but still super grateful. So, let's keep this. Let's keep this bike going. Let's try to get some more. I'm gonna get this back in the water. Super Glow MSMKB, Lucky Craft. Ooh, there he goes, right away. All right, guys, it's been a good bite today. Three fish on the jerk bait, that's a good day. Uh, still looking for the halibut, but maybe they're just not around right now. But again, that one hit on a slow roll, right where I was describing uh, before I got bit, is on the edge of this hole. 
The water's really evened out nicely right now. Um, but the water's kind of pouring over. It's shallower right there. And it drops off right here. You see the nervous water? So you want to hit those edges. That's where this one hit, right on that edge. Fish on. This one feels like a halibut. Yes, sir. This hole is holding. Oh, baby. It's a better sized fish. He's not fighting like the previous croaker, but he's got weight. The Corbina, I think. Yeah, chunky Corbina. This is a better size Corbina. Oh, there he goes. Oh my goodness. It's a better size Corbina. It's funny, I've been trying to catch Corbina for the past month in the conventional light line way, and I've been unsuccessful. And I, this is my second one. Good size bean, maybe an 18. All right guys, second Corbina of the session. Like I said, been skunking out on Corbina with a light line way um, for the past month. And I get two this morning on Lucky Craft. Go figure, man. Lucky Craft gets everything. This has been the lure of choice. I got the needle nose on there still, but um, all, all morning, four fish on the Lucky Craft. Super glow on SMKB. Let's catch some more, I'm greedy. <laughs> All right guys, uh, lost my super glow on SNKB. Tied on the electric onion, going straight braid, lost my leader. No braid cutters. I had a little excess tag end that I tied with my clip and I actually sawed it off with my teeth. So I guess technically I could have done that when I'm tying my connection knot. But uh, just going straight leader. It's uh, very precarious when fishing rocks because braid is like noodle. When, uh, when you hit rocks. So hopefully we won't run into that problem. We're going to cross our fingers and hope that this uh, electric onion can produce for us today. Without a doubt, 100% certainty, I can guarantee this. That you're not gonna catch anything if you're not catch, uh, you're not gonna catch anything if you're not casting. So even on a slow day, if you're trying to salvage the day, you're not gonna salvage it if you're not grinding. So always grind. I think that's a mark of all good fishermen, regardless of how consistent a, cons uh, a good fisherman is, even good fishermen are gonna run into tough bites. And uh, those are the ones that succeed are the ones that stick with it and uh, keep changing things up to figure out what's working that day. Oh, fish on, guys. Yeah, not a big one. That's oh, a halibut. Look at him. This guy's fighting on the on top. I'm just dragging him on top. It's a little guy. Hopefully we can get him in here. little guy so I didn't get a halibut yesterday and this is a tiny halibut but we'll take them maybe more like 15 <laughs>
Oh, fish on, guys. Got him. I think it's a croaker. I caught one here yesterday, too, right at the edge of the hole. Let's see if he stays pinned. I'm gonna walk onto the sandbar here. It's not a big fish, but uh, I'll take any kind of bite, you know what I'm saying? Let's see what we got here. It's a Corbina again? Holy cow! My third Corbina. So the critters. So there he is, guys, on the electric onion. It's absolutely insane. All right, guys. Corbina, halibut and Corbina today on the Lucky Craft. Okay, so let me catch you, buddy. Yeah, he's healthy. 